Hi! On this video we will discuss how to build the rating details table in order to give the visitors a full idea about how many users gives how many stars. We will discuss also how to give the visitor an idea about the average rate and the number of votes this particular design has taken. We will discuss also how to view this page inside the mobile device as on the mobile device we want those three elements to gather at the top of each other in a way that makes the rating details section comes at the top of the comments section since it's more important. At the beginning let's open design.aspx and directly beneath the comments section let's copy the, the rating dev element copy and paste okay this is our dev element here and it has a bootstrap class column md3 which makes it occupies one quarter of the monitor's width there is another dev element inside it which has the task of displaying the average rate and it contains the following first is the dev which has the id of dev average rate and as you can notice here this dev is empty as i intend to apply the rate plugin over it later then we have two labels one for displaying the average rate and the other for displaying the number of votes then as you can see here we have a table consists of five rows each row is responsible for displaying the number of votes given to a design for a particular number of stars ranging from one to five so as you can see it's a very straightforward and easy right now if you save all and refresh you will find this table displayed like that now it's time to go to the code behind page by pressing f7 key and start typing the code that will control the width of each bar so let's type here rating details okay and go to the notepad and copy the code responsible for that copy and paste sorry okay at the beginning I defined five variables each variable is responsible for counting the number of votes given to a particular number of stars ranging from one to five then defining a new variable called maximum rate and initiate its value to star 1 then it will test if star 2 is bigger than maximum rate then the maximum rate will be equal to star 2 and, and so on I have defined also another variable called bar width and give it the value of 93 93 by the way will be in percent because as you know since our page is responsive the parent table cell for each bar will keep changing its width every time the page's width changes this is why fixing the width to a certain number of pixels is not a good idea then calculating each bar width according to the following equation star 1 over the maximum rate that will give you a fraction if you multiply it by the bar width which is 93 and add a percent beside it this will give you the total bar width and I had to do that with the other four bars then beside each bar I had to add a label here to display the number of votes each bar represents then I calculated the total number of votes then calculated the average rate according to the following equation star 1 times 1 star 2 times 2 and so on over the number of votes this will give you the average rate then type the average rate on the label average rate dot text now let's rebuild and refresh our page okay here we go you can easily notice here that the number of users who votes with five stars are three whereas the number of users who voted for four stars are one okay so the average will become 4.75 and the number of votes are four so let's apply the rate plugin over this uh, dev element here we still have a dev element as you might remember called dev average rate and it's empty at the moment so let's go to design.js and at the end let's type here rating table for example and type the following script so I have applied the rate plugin over the dev average rate now let's save all and refresh our page and here we go so far so good but however if you try to resize this page 
to imitate the mobile phone screen that comments will display directly below the properties table as expected and this is not necessarily a good idea from the information priority point of view as the visitor is expected to be more interested about the overall statistics than reading each individual comment so I want this div element to come directly after the properties here the only way to do that is to go again to the design.aspx and move the rating div element control x and put it directly before the comments control v let's put a comment here end of rating let's save all and okay now it works fine on the small monitors whereas on the wide monitor the page looks bad and unbalanced so one solution to solve this problem is to is to push this div element five columns to the right and pull this div element three columns to the left is that possible yes it's possible so let's type here call dash md dash pull dash three okay this is the comments panel and for the rating panel I will push it five columns so call dash md dash push dash five now let's refresh our page okay this is what we'll get at the end and if we try to minimize the page okay this is why I love working with bootstrap now still there is one more issue as if you right click any number here suppose that this number is not three I mean suppose that it's not only one digit it's for example 10 or uh, 99 what would be the situation if you try to change 3 to 10 this is what you will get unfortunately the number will move to a new line as a workaround if you right click inspect and make the maximum bar size small as 85% for example this will solve the situation but what if the number here is 100 instead of 10 we will return to the same problem so as a solution I have prepared here the alternative code to calculate the bar width so let's copy and paste it on the code behind page so instead of giving the bar width a fixed value I will paste this code instead so in case the maximum rate is greater than 9999 which makes it 5 digits the bar width will be 73 for 4 digits it will be 78 for 3 digits 84 for 2 digits 87 and case else it will be 93 thanks for watching if you like the video please press like